welcome back if you're returning to me at Shea C Tarot and if you're brand new to my channel welcome and thank you so much for being here all of you I I can't even begin to tell you how much I appreciate you being here and supporting my channel it really means the world to me and my girls I absolutely love reading for you I was called the tarot about a year and a half ago now and I can't believe already it's been a year and a half but I mean, I haven't had my channel a year and a half, but I've been doing like tarot straight. I haven't been able to put the cards down for a year and a half. And ever since I was 13 years old, I've, I've read for myself here and there. And I absolutely, I'm still amazed by tarot and I'm really happy you're here. And thank you so much for the support. When you get a moment, I would really appreciate the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps my, my channel to grow. And um, I love doing this for you. It's my passion and my pleasure. I'm an intuitive empath, and there is a little intro video on there. Um, if you get a chance, check it out. Check out the other videos. Anyhow, I'm just waiting for your cards to drop. I've already, if you've been with me to Shacey Tarot before, you know that I burn sage before every reading. I clear your cards of any negative energy with the healing stones also surrounding your reading. Okay, so then the energy is already flowing through the cards, and then they get kind of like the hot energy going, and I, they actually tend to fly out. Well, the last five or six days when I've done that in advance to videotaping and get the energy already flowing, it's, it's amazing to me. So I'm just waiting for them to drop out. So just one moment. Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for Sagittarius, January 28th to 31st, 2019. In love. Any messages, please, Spirit, for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, please. Any messages, please, for Sagittarius? In love, please, Spirit. January 28th to 31st, 2019. Any messages, please? Thank you. Any messages, please, Spirit? Ooh. Any messages, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, January 28th, 31st, 2019. For love, please, Spirit. For love, please, Spirit, Sagittarius. Any more messages, please? Any more messages, please, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. And I will do some clarifying cards as well. <clears throat> now, I will mention that even though I'm doing this the 28th to the 31st, I want you to know that these energies, your feelings about this can occur anytime. If you're feeling this is your life, then fantastic. It's definitely meant for you. As I'm reading and going through this, say, the next five or so minutes, if you're not resonating with it at all, then this isn't for you. Maybe the next reading will be. You have to remember this is a general reading, okay? Specific readings cater to your energy. You can get, you know, by going to my website below in the description box, shacy.com, S-H-A-S-I-E.com, okay? But never force a reading to fit. And anytime I do this, this is a timeless reading for you, okay? And I do not read reversals, okay? It's a timeless reading, meaning that, you know, some things can occur months from now, weeks from now. It may have already started for you. Some things may have happened in the past, okay? So this is a timeless video. Whenever you're watching it, if you're feeling it's your life story, if you're connecting with it emotionally, if it feels like you, then it's definitely for you, okay? So it doesn't matter when you're watching it. If you're watching it weeks from now, that means it's for you. And, <clears throat> excuse me, you will also want to take advantage of the extended read which is everything's down in the description box, including the extended read. So if this is, if you're feeling this is for you and you're like emotional and you're feeling it, then definitely take advantage of the extended read. That is down below, also in the description box. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Sagittarius, you have what appears to be a brand new practical beginning. It could be a brand new job, a brand new relationship that, um, you know, is very practical. Okay, more practical than emotional, perhaps. Can be a brand new business, a brand new career change, uh, promotion. It's it's basically a brand new beginning in something to do of a physical nature. Usually, property, money, promotion, a raise, even investments could be like new investments and stuff like that. It's a new beginning in in something. Okay. You have the Four of Cups. Now, this has been coming up a lot for um, a lot of the astrological signs. This is, you know, someone here is refusing to accept this brand new opportunity from the universe. And it can be you. It may be a practical new love offer coming in. It could be. Um, but 
you're refusing it. Or if it's not you, it's your love interest refusing an offer from you. Could be. Could be the universe you're refusing it from. Whatever it is, someone is double negative here and they're focused on what was lost rather than what could be if they just accepted it. So whether that's you or a love interest that you're thinking about, okay, arms and legs are crossed here and nobody's accepting nothing here as you can see. But let's keep going on. Now, you have a major archon of the devil. This is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or a toxic situation, an unhealthy situation. You know, maybe you or someone else is refusing love from someone else because it's an unhealthy relationship. In which case, of course, yes, absolutely, you should refuse it. Now, this doesn't just have to be about, you know, um, a difficult uh, relationship that's unhealthy. This can also be any person, place, or thing that's unhealthy. It can be, you know, an addiction, substance abuse, um, to whatever degree. Uh, it can be addictive personality to someone or something. It can be to shopping. It can be a workaholic. It can be a codependent relationship. Anything you do too much of, person, place, or thing. If there's something unhealthy in your life. And it can be, you know, um, a love interest or a previous partner or an ex-boyfriend, ex-husband, whatever the case may be. It may be somebody you're separated from. It may have been unhealthy and that may be why you're refusing love or they're refusing yours. So take that how that resonates. This can be anything. I mean, this can even be a family member that's having issues. Okay? Brother, sister, mother, father. However that resonates for you. But the Wheel of Fortune is here. And this is another major arcana. Now, major arcanas are things that are significant in our life that are affecting our life in a major way, okay? So something significantly is affecting your life negativity, negatively, okay, or someone else's. And the Wheel of Fortune is here saying that the wheels are turning and it's something that's faded, something that the universe is controlling that you have no control over, okay? So, this is usually in a positive direction. The Wheel of Fortune is a turning point. You know, it could mean you're trusting your intuition and following your gut. It could even mean that a love is returning from the past. But it may not be the same person. Okay, it may not be somebody that was maybe unhealthy. Maybe somebody new that the universe is bringing in for you that's very practical, very grounded individual. Or it could simply mean that you're not focusing on love right now. Maybe you've had a bad relationship or bad experiences and you're ready for something brand new and practical. Maybe you're focusing on your job or your career, a brand new business, a new opportunity, investments, money, material items, taking care of you, okay, financially. Maybe your future you're thinking about. But let's keep going and we'll, we'll dig deeper. Now, in the extended, I dig way deeper. I use my Enchanted Tarot. Now, these are, these are the ones I was telling you about. Um, well, if you've been with Shacey, me before, and listened to my readings, I've had these forever. I've had these since I was around 13 years old. I'm not going to date myself, but, you know, roughly about 25 years. <laughs> but, it, you know, they, they really, they jump out at me. Like, the Rider weight jumps out at me, too. I use these in the general readings here because they're very depictive. They're very bright. And so it's easy for you to see it and kind of, you know, you can kind of get a feeling for this one. Whereas these are very old. They jump out at me. They're full of my energy, so they're definitely full of beans, I like to say. But, you know, it's harder for you to kind of, kind of see what's going on compared to that. I mean, you know what I mean? The quality over the years, right? We've come a long way. <laughs> Anyhow, to, to make a point, I'm just saying that I pull a lot more clarifying cards. I dig a lot deeper, okay? And I will also call call on the Romance Angels cards as well to see if there's any love messages for you. So I pull a lot more clarifying cards. Let's clarify some of these for you because I'm very interested to see what the Ace of Pentacles is all about. For Sagittarius, please, Spirit, what can you tell us about the Ace of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles. Please clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius. Can you clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Sagittarius, please, Spirit? Ooh, okay. 
so yeah, you may have a gift of love or a message of love coming in. Pages are all about messages coming in. This is a messenger. Cups are emotions, okay? And it also represents Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, especially Pisces with the fish in the cup. But a messenger is maybe going to come into you. Maybe somebody younger doesn't have to be. They may be just bringing you a message of love, a practical gift maybe, okay? Could be a love offer. It could be. It could be a gift of love that's practical in nature, okay? Let's continue on. You clarify the Four of Cups for Sagittarius, please, Spirit. Clarify it. The Four of Cups for Sagittarius. Why is the Four of Cups here, please, Spirit? Oh, okay, that's too many. Those definitely wanted to come out, and this one wanted to come out, so let's pull those. Wow, did you see that? So I'm talking about they just sometimes just want to fly. And if there's too, too many, I won't take them. But you have the hangman. So someone's refusing love right now because somebody is busy thinking, contemplating, making decisions, not really making any decisions right now, but wanting to sort of go within and just kind of relax and chill out and not really do anything at the moment. Taking time out for oneself, you know. And again, can be going through a period of transition. You do have a new beginning here. So you may have just gone through a transition period where something ended and something new is beginning. And so you're not ready for any brand new love. That could be. And so you're just taking time out for you. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all need time just for ourselves. But you're trying to gain your own perspective here. Okay. Sometimes it means that you're having to sacrifice for someone else. Okay. Self-sacrificing, basically for somebody else's needs for whatever reason, okay? Sometimes we get so busy, we just don't have time to see what the universe is offering us, right? We get busy doing our day-to-day -day things and we're just not focusing on love. We're sometimes very focused on what isn't there rather than what could be there, okay? And that could be what's, you know, unhealthy too, is maybe you're focusing too much on on money and material possessions right now doesn't have to be it could just be that you're taking time for yourself you've been through something that has been difficult and unhealthy and so you're taking time out for you okay nothing wrong with that okay you have the five of cups most definitely so i feel that either you or someone else is focusing focusing on what what's not there rather than what's still there or what could be there okay and again, you may just have been through the ringer with something that was unhealthy and you're taking time out for you. But the wheel is here to turn you in a positive direction, I'm feeling. Oh yeah, look at this, four of wands. So you may be going to a party, a celebration, a wedding, taking a holiday. You may um, have somebody in your life. Maybe it could even just be a very close friendship, but they usually call this a honeymoon card. So you may be meeting somebody at a celebration and it, it, you know, may become more than that. I'm not seeing like huge, huge evidence of that. This is like a gift from the universe, a practical new beginning. Again, this could be a new career, new job, promotion, new business. This you may be receiving a gift of love, a token of love, a token of affection. Maybe somebody thinks of you quite fondly and they would like to take a relationship to the next level. You could be going to a wedding or a party. Valentine's Day is coming up. You may meet somebody there, you know. That could be. Now that one came out on its own, so I'm going to put it over here on its own. Let's clarify the devil card. Clarify the devil card, please, for Sagittarius. Why is the devil? Ooh, that was fast. And then we're going to go over to the extended magician. Okay, so you have, I feel, and if it's not you, remember, this can be reversed. It can be whoever you're thinking about, a loved one, okay, a significant other, your love interest. I feel that you or they are trying to manifest change. This is the magician, another major arcana, signifying that you have all the tools to make changes to your life. You are your own magician. You're your, you can do whatever you want as long as you put in the work, okay? So... Basically, the universe is saying you have the cups, you have the wands, you have the swords, you have the pentacles. You can do whatever it is you want, but you have to put the work in. But you have the power to do that. You have the power to be your own magician and make your life go the way that you want it to, to, to go, to be happy. So maybe you're manifesting changes. You're trying to turn your visions into reality. 
Perhaps get rid of something that was unhealthy. Maybe an addiction to a person, place, or thing. Whatever it was. Whatever it is. I feel that you are trying to manifest change. Okay? You may have been through something very difficult. And you're taking the time out for you. And you're being offered a practical new beginning to start you off. Wheels turning in your favor. And it's faded again by the universe. Okay? And you may meet somebody at a celebration. Okay, that's possible. Let's go over to the extended and pull some more cards. I'm going to clarify the devil card some more. I'm going to clarify the wheel of fortune as well as the four of wands and the page of cups. And let's find out and dig a lot deeper. Let's dig our heels in here and see where we're going from here, Sagittarius, because you obviously have a you know you're going through some kind of a transformation here i'm feeling because of that ace of pentacles because this is a new beginning so something must have ended uh for a new beginning to start here and somebody again is refusing love right focusing on what isn't there rather than what's there and you know either you or someone else is chilling out here so let's let's pull this next card in the extended dig a lot deeper with the enchanted tarot that one wanted to drop too so we're taking that like i said they're they jump out from my hands sometime anyways i really appreciate you being here thank you so very much i appreciate the, the support please hit the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and for those of you that would like to receive further notifications of my videos coming out and new readings and cross watchers of course are welcome if you click down below and you're on mobile, there is a little bell there. You click on that, it'll inform you of any live readings I do or any further readings I do for your sign or someone else as you're interested in listening to. And I thank you for sharing with friends and family. That means so much to me. I will see those of you this resonated for over at the extended, which is available down below, should be there almost right away. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.